Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break, random team, number three, uh, 2022 Topps Chrome, Topps Chrome Formula One Racing, or Topps Formula One Chrome Racing, Hobby, whatever it is, oh, Topps Chrome Formula One Racing, there it is right, in, right there in the title. Half case of that from a fresh case and a free spot being given away. All cards ship, that's the list right here. Did we get BWT Alpine in there? Yes, we did. All right, and there's the uh, F2 and all other cards, track cards, et cetera, et cetera, spot right there as well. So, and tonight only, giving away a free spot. So if you bought a full spot, you get a chance at a full spot. So let's gather all these names here. That'll be the first dice roll. Second dice roll will be matching up with a team. Let's roll it, randomize it three and a two, five times. Name on top after five, good luck. Extra spot after five, one, two, three, four, and fifth and final time, Robert Runkel, your name's on top. After five, congrats to you. An extra spot going your, uh, going your way. We'll put that rooftop next to your name. All right, now second dice roll. Let's match you up with one of these spots here. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a six, full 12 times. One, two, three. Ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After twelve, we got Michael Adana Taylor. Six into six. Once again, twelve times. This time for these guys right here. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, ten. 11 and fingers crossed, 12th and final time. We got the all F2, et cetera, et cetera, spot up there and Haas down there. So here's how it all shakes out for you. All right, so Michael, with the all F2, other cards not listed, track cards, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Taylor with the Oracle Red Bull Racing, Robert with Alfa Romeo, Michael with Ferrari, Aaron with Aston Martin, Jimmy with Williams, Brian with BW Talapine, Robert with that extra spot McLaren, Jimmy with Mercedes, and Taylor with Haas. Let's order these by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No trade chatter, no deals were done. So that list you saw right there remains the same here on January 7th, 2023. Pick your team three, random team three that is in 2023. So thanks everyone for getting in on the action. There it is, F1 TC, Tops Chrome. So it's, it's a six box break, so it's half a case. Second half is loaded up already. be able to get into some of that tomorrow, I would think. All right, now we'll, we're going to roll the die and we're going to see. I'm going to see uh, which side we're going to do. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this side we will we will reserve for break four. That'll be for random team four in the store now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Set those over here. All right, let's see what we got, gang. Good luck. So I think Teddy was telling me autographs are not guaranteed one per box, but they are around. All right, we've got the usual suspects on the, on the front here.
Good luck, everybody. When does the F1 season start? Now that we're doing this break, let's give the people some information here. Soon, I want to say. Right? I think... Yeah, I think... Uh, the preseason testing is going to happen late February, February 23rd through 25. Then March 3 through 5 is our first round in Bahrain. Then they'll stay in that region. They'll go to Saudi Arabia after that. Then they'll go to Australia. Then there'll be a to-be-confirmed spot in the middle of April. Why is that to be confirmed? Is that where Russia was, maybe? Azerbaijan, end of April. Uh, Miami, early May. That should be fun. Uh, then, then Italy, in, uh, later in May. And of course, Monaco, Spain, Canada, Austria, so on and so forth. That kind of gets you halfway-ish through the season. Austria, Britain, Great Britain, and that'll, that'll be halfway through the season. So, Formula One season upon us, ladies and gentlemen. I think they're st they'll start doing all of their car reveal thing that they do every preseason. That'll start to crop up. Uh, anyone know of any, uh, any major driver train changes? I'm trying to think is I might have to look that up in the Wikipedia in the next box but if someone knows of any major changes definitely let me know are there major changes there's Dennis Hogger And there's a Clement Novalek, checkered, but not numbered. I think Daniel Ricardo is not with McLaren anymore. There's a Max Verstappen silver for Red Bull. Driver of the day. What a season he had. He cruised through the season for the most part. There's Nicholas Latifi, Zhao Ganyu, Charles Leclerc, poor Charles Leclerc. I feel like every race where he thought he had a leg up, there'd be some like some driver change or, or some 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 error in his team. Pit stop stuff that would that would end up screwing him over there's a ralph Beauchamp for f2 compost that'll go to the f2 spot it's gonna be for michael Estrella. brian thinks ricardo went back to red bull oh. and then we've got charles leclerc there he is nine out of 50 gold shimmer ferrari michael ang There's Mick Schumacher. There's a Verstappen Speckle to 299. Another one for Red Bull. Those will all go to Taylor. Got Red Bull in this one. Good. New car kind of jam. Great season for George Russell. I think at one point, maybe halfway or maybe even three quarters through the season, that he had not had a finish lower than. I mean, he's he was he was placing P five and up for uh, for much of the season. So he he had a great season. He didn't have a problem with the car. 
Well, Lewis Hamilton seemed like he had, had some issues with that car. Here's Charles Leclerc. 50 out of 199 for Ferrari. That'll be for Michael. And there's a Lewis Hamilton refractor. That will be for uh, Jimmy and Mercedes. Wikipedia driver changes. Here we go. So this is according to Wikipedia 2023 Formula One World Championship Wikipedia page. Sebastian Vettel retired at the end of the 2022 season, ending his Formula One career after 16 seasons. His place at Aston Martin was taken over by Fernando Alonso, who left Alpine after two seasons. His replacement was initially announced as the 2021 Formula Two champion and reserve driver, Oscar Pistari. Oh, I kind of remember this. Shortly after the announcement, Pistari stated that he had not signed a contract for 2023 and would not be driving for Alpine. The FIA Contract Recognition Board ruled that he did not have any contractual obligation to race for Alpine. Pierre Gasly, who had a contract to drive for AlphaTauri, is due to move to Alpine replacing Alonso. And then Gasly's spot is going to be replaced by Formula E and 2019 Formula 2 champion Nick uh, DeVries. Daniel Ricciardo... Uh, left McLaren after two seasons. Although he had a contract to drive for the team in 2023, it was terminated during the 2022 championship by mutual agreement. Ricardo's seat is due to be filled by Oscar Pistari. Not Pistoris. A different Oscar. Oscar Pistari, who will make his Formula One debut, so he'll be behind Lando Norris. Nicholas Latifi left Williams after spending three seasons with the team. His seat is due to be filled by Logan Sargent will make his Formula One debut by graduating from F2, as well as being the first American Formula One driver, there you go, USA, to compete since Alexander Rossi in 2015 with Marussia. Mick Schumacher left Haas after two seasons. His seat is due to be taken by Nico Hulkenberg, who last competed in F1 as a full-time driver with 2019 in Renault. So no word on what Daniel Ricardo is doing now. His Wikipedia page says, last race for him for McLaren, made his debut. Oh, he is the third driver for Red Bull from 2023. So there you go. Mick Schumacher is a reserve driver for Mercedes. Otherwise, everything is is, uh, is unchanged, I want to say. I'm a fan of Lando Norris. Hopefully he does well this season. There's a Lewis Hamilton purple, 368 out of 399 for Mercedes. It's for Jimmy. It'll still be uh, Lewis and uh, George Russell will be in that. The main two seats for Mercedes. And we've got an autograph, Green Auto, F2 driver, Amari Cordille. Ninety-eight out of ninety-nine for the F2 spot. That's for Michael. And speaking of Lando, there he is, 23 out of 50. Nice, driver of the day in Austria, 2021. For McLaren, that'll be for Robert with the spot that he won, the extra spot that we were giving away in this break. There's a nice Max for Verstappen, 33 out of 199, purple uh, checker.
That's for Red Bull. That's going to be for Taylor with Red Bull. And we've got Sergio Perez for Red Bull. I thought that was going to be numbered. Doesn't that little purple border right here? So a cool thing I wanted to tell people, you'll, you can look this up after this break. Um, so uh, there's the, day, the inaugural Grand Prix in Vegas. I guess not really inaugural. They've had it before in Las Vegas, but they, they brought it back. Uh, and it's going to be, I think, the weekend before Thanksgiving. And so all the resorts up and down the Strip, there's going to be a huge straightaway down the Strip. All the resorts up and down the Strip have, have been, you know, have ticket packages for all this sort of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, for, for the Wynn Hotel, um, where I stayed for a night over my winter break, there's like five, four or five F1 cars just loaded up there. Liam Lawson for F2 to 299. So, you know, because I, so I saw one on the casino floor. And I was like, I was returned to my sister and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. You know, are these, uh, you know, it's cool that they brought in like models of F1 cars. But so she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> these are real F1 cars. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. When did, when did they wheel these in? <laughs> she's like, no, no, no. They drove these in here. And I was like, what? So I think you can go to YouTube or the Wind Resort, like Instagram channel or something like that. And you could see, uh, you can see them drive in. And I think Checo actually drove in one of the Red Bull cars in there to actually drive one in. Let me show you, let me see if I have a, a quick little pic. And this doesn't really give you much context. This kind of does. Yeah, so that's like the casino floor or like one of the hallways that they have there leading to one of the shopping areas. But yeah, they, they drove in. Some of them are older cars. But, but yeah, they drove in those cars. Do I have one on the casino floor? I do. Yeah. They, they drove those in and they, and they popped them behind the crafts tables. Pretty awesome. So needless to say, the city of Las Vegas is geared up. They're ready to go. Tickets are already sold out. And you're thinking, Joe, can you get tickets? Like, can you go to like StubHub and get tickets on the strip? No, you can't. Although there will be grandstands on the strip. Turns out, I'm pretty sure that every major resort casino up and down the strip are selling their own grandstand packages. So the only place where, where commoners like us, you know, can watch these races are like sort of behind the strip where the, where the rest of the race is. And that's where like the start finishes and turn one and all that. So there's some areas back there where you can, uh, where you can have grandstand access. I think in front of the, I think, uh, and these are sold out already, but I think the grandstand in front of the fountains at Bellagio. You've all seen that, right? Even if you've never been to Vegas, uh, at the end of uh, Ocean's Eleven. Pretty grandstands there. And I think, I think Bellagio is owned by MGM. Anyway, uh, they, uh, I think they went for like $2,200 a seat or something like that. And obviously they're already sold out and probably reselling for two or three times as much. Hotel rooms are going to be super expensive there. The Win is selling um, ticket packages, weekend and ticket packages to, to, you know, to view the race and stay X amount of nights there. The cheapest package of the four, Three or four, I think. The cheapest package is $60,000. And that's for like four or five nights. Um, four or five nights and a bunch of like food and spa package, blah, 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 blah. For four or five nights, $60,000. The most expensive package 
a million dollars. I gotta win that billion dollar power, the billion dollar mega millions just to, just to be able to afford that. But like, you gotta think they're selling those packages because people will do it. Million dollars? I guess so Guan Yu it can be an up and comer here. There's his rookie card, Refractor. I doubt it, right? I don't think they'll have a Raiders home game there that same weekend. There's a Fernando Alonso for Alpine to 50. It'll be for Brian. There's Zhao Guan Yu in the checkerboard pattern now. It's for uh, Alfa Romeo, who is not on the list, so that'll go to that F2 spot. That'll be Michael. Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Vettel and Stroll. Toto Wolf, 157 out of 399 for Mercedes. It's going to be for Jimmy. But yeah, those ticket packages are, are, are crazy. I mean, even if, even if you split it with your friends, there's Sebastian Vettel, orange. Like I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking like, I don't know, that there'd be like a $10,000 package, I guess, that like six of my friends could split to me all just crash in that hotel room or something like that. Something like that. 10 of my friends. Oh, I'm not, I wasn't thinking rich. I was not thinking rich. It's George Russell, he's thinking rich. 002 out of 290, he's thinking rich. That's, that's his, hmm, I'm thinking rich. Great season for him. Jimmy with the Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton refractor also for Mercedes. Speed Demon Latifi. But F1, F1 hype still there. If we get a little more of an exciting season this year, I guess they, they, they hopefully, all the drivers like Lewis Hamilton who struggled with a new car last year, maybe all those problems will be gone this year. Maybe we can see a little, a little more competition down the stretch. Anyone still watching uh, the F1 show, Drive to Survive? I have, I have to be honest with you. I was kind of, I was into F1 a little bit even before that series. I'm just not, I've heard enough, like, uh, harder core. I'm still pretty casual, but a couple of my friends are pretty hardcore. That, and they kind of don't like it because it really, because, uh, you know, they follow throughout the season, really kind of over-dramatizes stuff. And, you know, they'll... They'll edit things in such a way where like, hey, I knew that that was not in that part of the lap or something like that. I suppose I'll have to binge it at some point. But that same production company uh, is doing the same thing for golf. I don't know if there, if there are any F1 and golf fans in the chat. But that same production company had pitched another, a, a, a similar idea to the PGA so there were already cameras out on um, out on a lot of events last year, a lot of PGA Tour events last year, and all the majors. Um, and it's supposed to come out February. So similar thing. It's not as immediate or as week to week as as Hard Knocks is. But, uh, but yeah, so we should be able to see that. Yes, I was just about to bring that up too, Brian. They have a tennis version of it as well. Although I feel like the tennis version is fewer episodes, I want to say. They, like, so maybe it's not as episodic as, uh, as the PGA might be. 
And I think with tennis, it's more – tennis is so much more uh, major-focused anyway, so it might just be the slams, right? There's Lando Norris, Speckle. It's 299. Or, or is that the mini diamond parallel? Anyway, that'll go to McLaren. That'll be for Robert. So a lot of great sports content. Sebastian Vettel. Purple, not numbered. So a lot of sports content coming on Netflix. Might be a nice year for Netflix. I think the PGA one might, might take off. It's Pierre Gasly to 199. It's uh, Pierre Gasly for Alpha Tari, which will be in the all other. It's 199. It's kind of a cool shot right there. Ollie Caldwell. Didn't we, didn't we read something about him? I'm trying to look at F2 drivers who are, who are uh, going to be in an F1 seat this year. No, it's Oscar Pistari. I don't think he's in this set. And Logan Sargent. I don't know if I've seen those names in this. Maybe next year's set. Or maybe if we find like F2 versions of it, that'd be pretty cool. There's Kimi. Kimi Raikkonen. Ah, there's Oscar Pistari. So we have some. So F2, Michael Estrella. So uh, Oscar Pistari, Pistari sitting in that second seat behind Lando Norris for McLaren. That'll still go to the F2 spot, obviously, but just someone to look out for. This year, there's Charles Leclerc to 399 for Ferrari. That'll be Michael. Who's the new guy, Diego? My name is Joe, Joe Jaspi. And uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be your host for these group breaks. Your new host. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you joining us. Hope you stick with us. There's Ollie Codwell, F2 spot, Michael. There's Richard Vershaw, 6 out of 25. F2, tried it. Did I, did I read Clement Novlock's name in here somewhere? No, maybe not. And there's a refractor, Max Verstappen. All right, two more boxes to go. Happy New Year, Diego. Año Nuevo. The new year already upon us. So first F1 race early March. So be sure to keep breaking F1 and, you know, watching F1 with us all year long. We'll be talking about it, especially as we see some of the Miami, so we'll definitely, definitely be watching that. Monaco will be a fun one to watch. So, so now the U.S. has three, right? Miami early in the season. And then later in the season, uh, Austin, and the second to last race of the year will be Vegas. Which is pretty exciting. Like I was saying earlier, hopefully we'll see 
a little more competitive, uh, that's something a little bit closer. I know it doesn't happen all the time. And what, two years ago is pretty unique that it came down to the wire with Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, but which unfortunately doesn't happen as often, but it is a fun competition to watch. It's so different from, uh, and I watched a little NASCAR too, it's so different from that, that, uh, where did I need a little hydration? I've got to wet my whistle here. Where did I put my hydration? Got to rebuild the uh, got to rebuild the uh, the vocal cords for for a full week of group breaking, which will start tomorrow. There's Lewis Hamilton checkerboard. Oh, well, what's going on? Happy New Year, man! Did I see the Chiefs no goal play today? I did. Um, I would love to see them do it again. Because I feel like after they snow globed and then split out, right, there was just enough like there's like enough options there where it's it even if they do that, it's not gonna be the same play every time. If anything, oh there's Logan Sargent. If anything, you kinda get it in people's heads that uh there's George Russell, deep in thought. Um where that you you may you may like get them to start practicing to try to stop that play. Ooh, we got a super coming up. Woo! Ooh, look at this. Lewis Hamilton. Super. Wow. That is awesome. You're all you're all here to witness this. Jan Saturday, January 7th, 2023. Lewis Hamilton, one of one super fractor. Mercedes, that's Jimmy. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's pretty nice. I mean, what, what are we saying? We were saying we're just a few months away. Just a few months away from the upcoming F1 season. A nice time to get this. Bit of a down year for Lewis Hamilton last year, but, you know, with his talent... And and the money that Mercedes has, you know, I can bet that uh, should have a bounce back year this upcoming year, and that'll be a nice one to have. There's Latifi to two ninety nine. And Marcus Armstrong, F two. That'll go to the F two spot. I don't know, is Jimmy even here? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at where, uh, where Jimmy lives. I'm not gonna tell you, because that would be a, a complete uh, violation of your privacy. Oh, he's on the, I, I can tell you that he's on the East Coast, though. He's probably not awake right now. Good morning, Jimmy, you're welcome. Thanks for getting into the break. Appreciate it. There's Latifi for Williams. Maybe for Jimmy as well. All right. Final box from the first half of this case. Real solid so far. Second half in the store. Random teams get your spots. 
I mean, maybe we'll find a Lewis Hamilton autograph on the other side. Maybe a Max Verstappen autograph on the other side. Checo, maybe. You know, any of the Ferrari guys. Charles Leclerc. Or uh, Carlos Sainz. These some nice ones to get. Maybe, maybe there'll be another one of one on the other side. Probably not. But maybe not a, maybe like a, what? What's the out of five? Is that red? Or something like that. That'd be a lot of fun. So, second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Grab a spot or two. Should be able to break that tomorrow. Hang with us all F1 season long and keep breaking F1 with us all year long on jazbeescasebreaks.com and maybe we'll uh, find some more nice stuff like that. I guess Wikipedia still has a calendar expansion and changes for the, the Cutter Grand Prix. Scheduled to remain on the calendar after last being held in 2021. The Grand Prix along with the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix was initially planned to be moved to a new purposeful circuit before being retained in Lucille and Jeddah, respectively. Vegas will make its debut. Lost Grand Prix in Vegas is 1982. Three races in the U.S. will be held in the same season for the first time since 1982. Yeah, the Russian Grand Prix is out. The one in Sochi. Uh, because of the invasion of Ukraine. Fran France, French Grand Prix will not feature on the 2023 calendar. Although promoter to the Grand Prix say that they would aim for a rotational race deal, sharing a slot with other Grand Prix. Chinese Grand Prix was initially due to be part of the calendar after being licensed on 2019, but canceled the fourth half of the year due to the ongoing difficulties presented by the COVID-19 pandemic in that country. All right, we got Marina Sato for F2. Guess there's some other regulation changes. We'll kind of take a look at as we close out this break. It's Charles Leclerc for Ferrari, driver of the day in, uh, in uh, Styria. There will be some changes to reduce the porpoising, which was a big issue last year. Changes the roll hoop designs. That's after Zhao Gang Guan Yu's. A scary crash. There's Esteban Ocon, 50 out of 50. Banning the use, uh, banning of use of slot gap separators on front wings. I didn't know that was an issue, but apparently enough to make the change. Mirror size changes. The size of mirrors will be increased for better rearward visibility. That could help. Uh, that's for Alpine. That'll be for Brian. Here, there's Esteban Ocon to 299. Max Verstappen refractor. Be for Red Bull, obviously, all those Red Bulls will go to Taylor. Uh, Alpine for Ocon will go to Brian. So we've got a little orange coming up here too. There he is. Speaking of, speaking of, here's Al Guan Yu. Yeah. Yeah, he had that scary crash at the 2022 British Grand Prix. A rounded top will now be required on the roll hoop, which will reduce the chance of it digging into the ground during an accident. A change that will be made to ensure a minimum height for the point of application. Blah, 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 blah. Max Verstappen. Max for stopping again. Purple to 399. All of those going to Taylor. And they'll all add up.
Vershore for F2. Russell, there's Leclerc and Sainz. Yuki Sonoda and Logan Sargent, who will be who will have an F1 ride this year. We read that earlier in the when we were going through all this. Logan Sargent will be in the Nicholas Latifi spot at Williams. He's graduating from F2, becoming the once again becoming the first American F1 driver to compete since Alexander Rossi in 2015. Nice. So someone to root for there if you want to root for an American. And there you have it, boys and girls. Nice little break. We got we got some a lot of uh, refractors. We got a few autographs in the mix, and of course, woo, uh, Lewis Hamilton, one of one, the big hit of uh, of my New Year's, my first day back, and it's a great day back. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That was 2022 Topps Chrome Formula One Racing. Hobby edition, six box half case Ram team break number three. Second half of the case number four is in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Have a great night. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.